Welcome. Welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, Traveling Road Show Edition, where we try to make sense out of this crazy Arizona real estate market. This morning, I'm trying to make sense out of my crazy CD player, just out of nowhere, decided it wanted to start playing a song. I'm sitting here getting ready to go and I go, where is that music coming from? The sad part is I can't even turn it off. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what a way to start the day. So, we're going to take a look at some of our inventory numbers, where the market is in the Phoenix area right now, compare a little bit to last year. And we're going to start out by taking a quick gander here at uh, interest rates, 6.90. It's kind of stuck in that zone right now for a while. The FOMC meeting is on the 26th. And the markets have priced in a 0.25 increase. So, if I were a betting man, I would say that rates are going to go down on the 26th, regardless of what they do. So if they go up 0.25 or if they hold now, if they rates are probably going to take a, a pretty good dip because the market, 93% of those surveyed are saying, well, they're going to go up 0.25. So if you're wondering where to, whether or not to lock your loan, uh, have that conversation with your lender and say, hey, what do you think is going to go on next week? Because uh, it's looking more and more likely like they're going to go up a quarter of a point, and at least that's what the bond market is saying. The bond market saying, okay, we get it. You're going to do that. And in every case where we've looked at it here, the day that they do commit to raising it uh, 0.25, rates always dip. So, you know, they it's we call it being baked in the cake, and that's what's happening. So expect that to happen. Now, it's slow out there. Uh, take a look here, the seven-day moving average, and you can see here that we have kind of got a little bit of a tick up on that yellow line, which is homes under contract and uh, new listings and up just a little bit. So I compared it to last year, and uh, the numbers are almost identical except for new listings. And prices were going down in July last year, and it was driven by I buyers and investors who were panicking and getting rid of their inventory. I believe that we were sitting around last summer that open door alone had something along the line of 1800 homes on the market. And so if you take that out of the equation right now, this July would be identical to last July if it weren't for the I buyers dumping all their homes. And so there was a bit of panic going on by those folks and by investors when rates went up and it uh, it had an effect. So we're still sitting there at on the seven day moving average at an inventory uh, of homes under contract versus new listings rocking about 80%. So whereas last year at this time, it was about 60%. And that's why prices were going down. So available months of supply is starting to go up a little bit. We're at 1.6 um that's pretty stinking low don't you think you go back to 2014 it was 5.4 uh our peak here in uh let's see november of 2022 when things really started to take a turn november december really slowed down we were at 3.8 now normal is between four and six months you just can't use the word normal in this real estate market anymore right now. So here's your average list price per square foot starting to come down. You're not going to see that in all markets. This is the average list price. However, sales prices are not declining. They are still increasing. I'm going to go over a couple cities here uh, in a moment and show you what's going on with the Cromford Index. Here's our average weekly listing counts. You can see that they're pretty flat. So we're in this amazing summer holding pattern right now. And <clears throat> this isn't because it's seasonal right now. It's because rates crept up over 7%. Everybody put the brakes on. So that's uh, last summer. Rates were high as well. Um, so here we go again, right? Take a look at the Cromford Market Index. Again, it's just flatlined. Just staying right here. No ups, no downs. Nothing to see here. <laughs> As we look in the more detail on the Cromford Market Index, you can see here that overall it's gone up, but it's kind of flatlined and it's driven because of supply. You can see supply on the index still going down and demand has kind of taken a turn 
downwards here. So that's the market in a nutshell. If we look at pending foreclosures, because I'm seeing some headlines out there of the foreclosures spiking. Um, they're not. These are pending foreclosures. Now, this doesn't mean that they're going to foreclose. This just means that they've gotten, they've received a letter from the bank saying, well, you're 90 days late, uh, pony up, or we're going to foreclose. And that number is sitting here at 939. The high number up here is 2019 pre-pandemic was 1800. So we're not any near anywhere near what was kind of the normal flow of, of uh, foreclosures. So if you're waiting for foreclosures, they're just not showing up. Um, it, we're going to have to see a huge spike in inventory and prices start to fall dramatically before you see that. And it just, it's just not showing up now. It's kind of an area of opportunity here if you're looking to sell your home. And this pretty much happens every year, but it's in the over 55 communities. I wanted to show this to you. Look at Sun Lakes. Look at how their Cromford Market Index has gone up. And it's sitting there at 241. Anything over 110 is considered a seller's market. That's Sun Lakes. And if we go to Sun City West, we see that same chart going up. We go to Sun City, and you can see that it's kind of flatlined. Now, compare those to, let's say, Phoenix in general here. Phoenix is coming down. You also see that uh, Cave Creek has come way down. The one standout that we have here besides the over 55 community I'm looking at here is Chandler. Look at this. Chandler is still doing a steady climb up. Now Chandler has a real shortage of inventory. So, and they're running out of places to build. Now you compare that to a place like Mesa and Mesa's flatlined in the CMI and the city of Gilbert um, is actually declining a little bit. So a lot of building going on in Gilbert as well. If you really want to look at building, let's take a look at Queen Creek. And uh, it's flatlined. Uh, let's go to Buckeye. Buckeye's got a lot of new construction out there. Their CMI is actually going up a little bit. That's an interesting look at that market. So inventory is the story. Rates next week are going to make a move. Uh, my prediction is they're going to come down. I don't know by how much. It's going to be interesting to watch. It's going to be on the 26th. That, so by noon... Uh, they're having their press conference. They will announce what they're doing before the press conference. So you'll probably wake up to that, see that news about 8, 8.30, what they're doing with the rates. I don't expect that to really change the real estate market much. Um, rates might go down, in my opinion, by about a quarter of a point. Uh, that's not going to spike the market. It's maybe worth 6.90. So what, could we end up at 6.75? It's still going to be relatively slow out there when it comes to transactions. And I think that's just the way things are going to look for the remainder of the year. So stay tuned here. We'll keep checking out the numbers and uh, see what's going on. Other than that, take on the day and have a great week. Take care.